हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री डिसोसिएशन कांस्टेंट ऑफ एसिटिक एसिड इज 1.8 पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन एज टू माइनस फाइव सो स्टूडेंट्स यह डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ एसिटिक एसिड इट इज एसिड सो वी विल राइट के फॉर कॉन्स्टेंट एंड बिफ्सेंस इट इज एसिटिक एसिड वी विल पुट के इट इज गिवन स्टूडेंट्स हाउ मच वन पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन एज टू माइनस फाइव Now read the second part of the question, students. We have to calculate percent dissociation. What will be the percent dissociation? What will be the percent dissociation, students? This we are we are going to calculate. What will be the percent dissociation of acetic acid when the concentration is zero point zero one molar? That means when the concentration is given zero point zero one molar. This is the concentration. Okay, students. Students, please pay attention. Now you here you are knowing the formula, students. Dissociation constant, concentration of the solution and degree of dissociation that is alpha. You know, students, since since you know this formula, students, dissociation constant is equals to concentration into alpha square. That is degree of dissociation. Okay, students. Once you know degree of dissociation, students, you can calculate the percent dissociation. Understanding? So these are the relations, students. You should know. So since we are knowing students formula, that is degree of dissociation. That is alpha. Square will be alpha square here. You have to divide with K A. You have to divide with concentration. So alpha will be students here. It will be in square root of this square will come on this side. It will be it will take the symbol like this and K A upon C will be. Now students, you have to just put the values. K value you students you are knowing that is one point eight into ten raised to minus five. Okay students, that this value you have to divide with concentration that is zero point zero one. Okay students. This is nothing but ten is to minus two. When this ten is to minus will go in numerator, students, it will be ten is to two. Understand, students? So what happens, students? When you take the square root of eighteen, students, it will come four point two four two. Now since we have taken ten is to minus, it will become ten is to minus two. It will become ten square root of that will become ten is to minus two. So this is the degree of this. We have got the value of degree of this solution that is alpha. Now since students. Degree of dissociation, you know, students. Degree of dissociation. Since again, you know the relation. Degree of dissociation is nothing but percent dissociation. Percent dissociation. You have to divide with hundred. Understanding, students. Now you know the. So what will be the percent dissociation, students? Therefore, therefore, students. Percent dissociation. Percent dissociation. Here it will becomes percent dissociation. It will becomes alpha into Hundred. Okay, students. Now, students, you know the alpha value that is four point two four two into ten raised to minus two, and this hundred. 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 You can write also ten raised to minus plus two. Okay, students. So this will cancel. Okay, students. Four point two four two into ten raised to minus two. This is ten raised to two. So what happens, students? There will be ten raised to zero. That is one. So now you got the value four point two four two into ten raised to zero. That is one. Any number raised to zero will always one. So your answer is students percent dissociation. Now you got very simple students. It is also coming for two marks question in board examination students. So this way you have to, you have to represent in your answer book. Okay students. So this is very important students. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe it. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a nice day. God bless you.